Let's look at some simple algebraic problems. So let me write the first problem. The first problem looks like this. Uh, x raised to 1 over 3 is equal to 3.1. So I want to find the value, value of x. That's what we want to find. So well, I should be thinking, how can I cancel this 1 over 3? So well, what if I raise that by 1 over 3? So I can say x, sorry, raise it by 3. So x raised to 1 over 3, raised to 3 is equal to 3.1 raised to 3. Or in a different way, if you think about it, this means this is cube root of x. And cube root of x, if you raise it by 3, that will, this cube root or this 1 third and 3 gets cancelled. So well, so we can say this implies x raised to, if you've got a power of power, you can multiply. So this is 1 over 3 times 3 is equal to 3.1 raised to 3. Okay, so this and this gets cancelled. So this implies x is equal to 3.1 raised to 3. So let me get a simple calculator out. So this is... 3.1, let me drag this to this side, 3.1 uh, raised to, where is the raised to key, raised to 3, is 2.791. So we can say this is 2, uh, what was the number, 29.791, 29.791. So this so the value of x is 29.791. That's all. Okay, let's look at one more question. Say if the question is like this, uh, say solve. Both the questions are solve. Solve 3x plus 5 is equal to x squared. So whenever you have a question like this you need to make this a quadratic equation. So writing this in a quadratic form, I can say 0 is equal to x squared minus 3x plus 5. So we say this implies you can say x squared minus 3x plus 5 is equal to 0. Now, you can use a quadratic formula. The quadratic formula, say, uh, the quadratic formula has, to, you, before fi using the quadratic formula, you should know what is a, b, and c. a is the coefficient of x squared. b is the coefficient of x, which is negative 3. And c is equal to 5. So let me do the working here. So the quadratic formula is x is equal to negative b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac over 2a. Now, if you put the values, you will get the answer. Uh, so, but let's use a graphic calculator. Most of you should be having a graphic calculator. If, if you use a graphic calculator, you have to just plug in a as 1, b as negative 3, and c as 1. So, this is my graphic calculator. And uh, so go to equation first. Go to equation polynomial second degree. So type in 1, negative 3, and 5. And solve. So that will no real root. Negative 3, let me sh negative 3 and 5. Or negative 5, sorry. So it should be negative 5. Okay, I made a mistake here. So this should be negative 5. So if you put negative 5 here, so let's try it again. So if you put negative 5, the calculator will give you the answer. Solve. You got 4.19. 4.19. 
minus 1.19. So we can say x. So we can say x is equal to minus 4. Point, what was the number? I keep forgetting the number. 4.19. 4.19 or x is equal to minus 1. Point, minus 1.19. Now if you think about this in a different way, if you graph it, this is a quadratic equation. So let me use a different color. What does this mean? The equation is x squared minus 3x minus 5 equal to 0. So when is this quadratic equation becoming 0? So if you draw, suppose if you draw a parabola, you can use a graphic calculator. The parabola will intersect at these two points. So this point, this point is minus 1 point. Let me use a different color. This point is minus 1.19. And this point is 4.19. Uh, this is 4.19 plus 4.19. This should be plus. So let me show this on a calculator. So if you go to graph, OK, and type in the equation x squared minus 3x minus 5 and then just graph it. So to make it a big, bigger scale, let me make it 10 by 10. So here the question is what are this value and this value. So you go G solve and press F1. This is minus 1.19 and this value is 4.19. So you can do it algebraically or graphically.